Okay, let's install the menu on Qtile. It's a little bit more versatile than the normal spawn menu and it's really easy to do. So the first thing is we want to update our package managers. So if you're in Arch, then that is a sudo pacman tag s y u, run that. And if you're on Ubuntu or Debian, then it's a sudo apt update and run that. Okay, so once we're up to date, to install it on Arch, we just do a sudo pacman tag s d menu, run that, tick yes, install, and on Debian, sudo apt install d menu. Okay, so it's installed on our system. Now let's configure it to integrate with Qtile. So let's open up our config file, which again is in .config Qtile config.py. And we're going to go down to our imports. So this is the one we want, this uh, libqtile, and then import this extension here. And then we go down to our keys list. And further down our keys list, we're going to add our D menu integration. So just like every other key, we first define our key command. So mod4, which is for me is the Windows key, and p, which is the basic D menu in DWM defaults. And then we're going to add this lazy uh, run extension for D menu run. Just make sure you get the capitalization correct there. And then we have all these options we can use to change our properties in D menu so we can customize it. So D menu uh, prompt is what happens at the start of D menu, that little prompt there. And then we can change our background color and this just takes normal hex colors. And then our foreground color, we can change the background and we can change the foreground. And this is false by default, uh, but I've just put it explicitly here. But you could change this to true. So if D menu underscore bottom is true, then D menu will spawn at the bottom of the window instead of the top of the window. That's default. And we can change our font just with the font variable. I've got mine set to terminus. I think it's set to sans by default, um, but I like terminus for D menu. And obviously you'd have to have that installed on your system through your package manager. Uh, then we can change the font size and this D menu lines is um, a little bit like Rofi. So essentially normally when you open D menu it's just one line at the top. Uh, but if you add a lines, um, the lines variable here and give it a number, you can define how many lines will run. So when I run D menu you can see I've got this list that you can select with the read line command so control n control p for next and previous to run uh, which is a nice feature that's just built into d menu um, and that's it really that make sure you've got the correct bracketing to tie it off at the end end it with a comma and then redo your um, configuration so super control and r and then you can run d menu and i'm going to show you what this true looks like so if i set this to true and then save and reload. You can see it's now, and then you need to change. Let's comment this out so you can see it. And there we go, it's running at the, the bottom. And that's how you install D menu in Qtile. It's really easy. There's, there are more options to change as well. If you go to the Qtile website, search for D menu run, then you have all these keys that you can change here. And that's it. That's how you install D-Menu in Qtile, really easy.